everyone. I just thought I would do an August favourites video. Favourites? <laughs> Why do I speak funny in all these videos? <laughs> I thought I would do an August favourites video for you because I love watching favourites videos. It's one of my favourite things to watch just because it's nice to see what other people are using because it gives me tips on what I could use. I'm not sure if I said I like watching August favourites videos. I don't just like watching August favourites, I like just watching favourites videos in general. I enjoy watching them so I thought I would film one. Right, I'm going to start doing it now. <laughs> so my first favourite is my foundation. I've been using this foundation for about, I'd say about four or five months now. It is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now what I love about this foundation is that it has a medium coverage. Um, it leaves your skin very... Um, it's not shiny, but it's like, not matte. Oh God, I'm so bad at makeup stuff. It's not like super shiny where your skin looks greasy. And it's also not like super matte so you look like a piece of cake. It's like got this really nice medium coverage where it's like, it's just glowy. My, I feel like when I put it on, especially when I haven't got like powder on or anything, I've got powder on my cheeks right now and a bit of glitter. But when you haven't got like powder on or anything, it's like really nice. I find it just a really nice coverage that makes my skin quite glowy and it doesn't look too harsh. But it's also really buildable. So like when me and Josh went out for a meal the other night, I put on um, more than I usually would like for work. And it was just super silky and like, but I had managed to build it up so it had a heavier coverage, which I really like. So yes. Yeah love this. I went for the shade 5.25. Now I should have gone for the shade 5. Um, the shade 5 is like for neutral, it's like an ivory type colour um, skin tone, whereas this one which is the 5.25 is medium cool. It's a little bit dark for me, I'm not gonna lie, but they didn't have the 5 in stock when I was ordering it. So I had to go for the 5.25, which is fine, I don't mind because it's not ridiculously dark, I just probably could have gone for a lighter shade. My next favourites, favourites? <laughs> Fuck's sake. My next favourite is this. So this is the Zoella Hungry Hands. I always feel like, I don't know, like it's just, it's just gonna be a staple forever now. I just like love it. I mean, I am obsessed with the smell of this hand cream. I've always wanted this hand cream. I think it came out last year. I think it was last year this actually came out. But since it's come out, I've wanted this hand cream. And I never bought it just because I normally buy, they have this like um, Dove hand cream that's, it just smells really neutral. Like it's not got like a really strong smell, but it's quite nice and like fruity I would almost say and I've always worn that but then this month I was like nah I'm gonna go, gonna go and, and like try something different so I decided to buy the Zoella Hungry Hands I actually bought this on eBay because I got it I, I always buy things cheaper on eBay I got it for pretty cheap I think I got it for a fiver or something oh my god and it smells amazing it just smells insane I wish you could smell it if, if you haven't tried this you need to try it it's, it's gingerbread and warm vanilla very Christmassy. Probably the wrong time of year for something like this, but fuck, it smells amazing. It's enriched with nourishing shea butter, vitamin E, a pinch of ginger, and a dash of vanilla. <laughs> it's really nice though, I really like it. But genuinely, the name suits this product because I actually want to eat my hands. Today I put it on at work and I was like to my colleague Veronica, I was like, Veronica, try this hand cream. She put it on and she was like, oh my God, so good. I love Zoella's stuff though, because I watch Zoe's videos and um, I always find that when she talks about her products, it seems like they're actually products that she wanted to create, not what somebody's just like made for her and put her name on. So I was like, glad I bought this. Brilliant purchase. This is uh, definitely going to become a staple of mine. This one is a fairly new purchase. So this product is the Victoria's Secret um, Love Addict Fragrance Mist. I feel like I am way behind the times buying this now. I feel like people bought this a long time ago. <laughs> I've always worn um, Britney Spears <laughs> Fantasy. It's like the one in the purple bottle with the rhinestones on it. I've always worn that, I've always bought that. I've worn that since it's come out. I love it. But this month I wanted to try something a little bit different and not because I don't like that perfume anymore, I still love the smell of that. It's because I've just been wearing it for so long and I just thought it's quite expensive and I always see these Victoria's Secret things on sale. So I went into Boots and I was like, let's try a body mist instead of a perfume. And I really, really like it. I'm going to be honest, it's not as strong as a perfume, which I don't think, I don't think mists are meant to be really. 
Like, I would say if you wanted someone to really smell this on you, you'd have to spray it on you a couple of times throughout the day. But what I really love it for is that it's quite, it's not as strong, so it's not in your face, but it's also, it's really fruity. It's, it's a lot like the Britney Spears one, actually. Like, if I had to say what it was like, most like smelling-wise, it would be most like the Britney Spears perfume. So I brought something, really, that was very similar, but cheaper. And it's a mist and not a perfume. Oh, it does smell good though. I'm gonna spray on me. Spray some on me now. Mm. <coughs> oh my god, I think I swallowed it as well. It's really nice anyway. It's like really strong right now. Now I've got it on, but in like 10 minutes, you can't really smell it unless you like proper like, you know, like when you pull up your clothes and you're like, like that, then you can smell it. But it's not like in your face smell like a perfume. Another favorite for August has been this ID hair serum. Now. I've used ID, this ID hair serum since I got it given to me by Robert, my hairdresser in London. And he gave this to me when I was doing my hair modelling with him. Now, I've used it ever since, but I stopped using it for a very long time. For the past, like, three or four, three, maybe three months, I've stopped using it. And that was simply because it, used, it made my hair greasy. But I know what I was doing wrong. I was applying it too high on my roots. So by the end of the day all my roots were like greasy and i was like oh i don't want to use this anymore but i found the knack which is obviously pretty obvious to other people but to me obviously it wasn't <laughs> i squirt a little bit of this into my hands of this serum um just a little bit into my hands and like run it through my hair like this here and here especially through the back because it gets quite dry here underneath and then a little bit through my fringe i normally just go like this over my fringe as well what i find with this it's called golden oil golden oil it's got no smell, so it's not like got no perfume to it. It doesn't make your hair smell of anything, which I love. Apparently, it nourishes your hair, scalp, and skin. But more that, more importantly, what it does, it, you know, like the strand ends. Well, I get them anyway. I get like strand ends of hair up here. Like they don't go like afroy, but they're like they just like poke up a lot. It keeps them down, but it also like I've got it on today and look like you get this like proper shine. Like, and I love that on hair. I hate hair when it looks like matte and like horrible. So like, like this shine here, it's literally because of this hair serum and I will love Robert for this forever. <laughs> if when this run out, if it runs out, there's still loads left and I've had it ages. I will definitely be 100% buying one of those again. My next favorite is probably a little bit weird, but it's um this um Batiste Instant Hair Refresh. It's basically just dry shampoo. Um, everybody's probably seen this, but it has been one of my favourites this month. Not because I haven't cleaned this month or washed my hair. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I just look so unclean now. But, like, basically, I've been trying to wash my hair less because, you know, when you, you're not meant to wash your hair, like, all the time. I've been trying to leave it, like, every other day to wash my hair. And I find that my hair grows greasy so quickly, so I've been using this. I tried another type of dry shampoo before. Now... <sighs> Off the top of my head, I can't remember what that's called, but it's like there's two types of sh dry shampoo on the shelves in like boots. There's this one and another one. I found the other one, like, just didn't do anything. Like, I felt like it looked no, not greasy for the first 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, it would look greasy again. So I found this was just the best. So it's the Batiste, Batiste, I think, Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, and I always get it in clean clean and classic the original because I hate my hair smelling of something it just it's weird it shouldn't smell of anything my next favorite is crazy color so everybody knows what the crazy colors are well you must be living under a rock if you don't know what they are and you dye your hair anyway obviously if you don't dye your hair you won't know but if you dye your hair and you haven't heard of these like what I always buy crazy colors and I don't use them how I would say the normal normal way of using them would be so normally you'd buy these um put you on your put them on your hair some people like dampen their hair as well put them on your hair wait for them to like it's more of a stain than a dye wait for it to stain your hair and then obviously wash it out and you've got that colored hair or whatever what i do is i keep it in my shower and i mix it in with my shampoo and conditioner when i want to like vibrant vibrant no make it my how would you say, make my hair more vibrant. So I would mix it with my shampoo and conditioner and then scrub it all in and I really get into my scalp and get all of the hairs. And then I'll wash my body and then wash my hair out so it's have time to like sink into it. And I just find that works so much better. Like it lasts so much longer. Like I've had this for ages. So I am obsessed with crazy colors at the moment. But this color here, this um, pink, 
Pinkissimo. I love this Pinkissimo because I've been dyeing my hair with a purple Schwarzkopf hair dye and I use the Pinkissimo on over the top in the shower to make it give it like make it more pinky so it gives it pink tones throughout and that's why when more everybody always goes oh what color have you dyed your hair Beth I'm like oh well it's this but I use this on tops to make it pink <laughs> I love this color and I'll probably be using this for the next couple of months as well my second to last favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury um what do you call this the retoucher conceal and treat stick now I used this in my, it was like my beauty video, I can't remember what it was, it was like my daily makeup routine video or whatever. So I've, I've always used it, so it's not like I've only ever used it this month, but it's become a favourite this month. So I used it before, but I used it quite lightly over any like blemishes or red spots or spots or anything like that. I used this, but then I would use a concealer, like a heavy concealer over the top of that. And I just still haven't found a concealer that's not cakey when you put your foundation on. I just hate that with concealers, they just always go cakey. So what I've loved about this, I've been applying it over any blemishes twice. So I put it, put it on, let it sink in, and then put it on again. And then like a dab it like this to like hide any. But it comes out, if I show you on my hand, it comes out like this. Can you see? I'm trying to cover my face. It's still, it's just obsessed with getting my hair like in cat film. God's sake, focus. Oh my God. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, I'm not showing you, okay. Basically it comes out like, not watery, but like creamy. It comes out creamy with like a sheeny texture. <laughs> when I'm talking about makeup, you can see I've got no knowledge of makeup. So just bear with me with, I've got no technical terms, but it's like creamy and like not watery, but you know, not cakey like that. And what I just love about it, it covers your blemishes, but also it doesn't leave it cakey, like any cakeyness behind. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just really like it. And it's been my favorite this month. My last favorite is, I used this actually in my daily makeup routine and it was my favorite then and it's my favorite now, but because I've never done a favorites video before, I thought I'd include it. It is the Lash Sensational Mascara. Ding, ding, ding. I bloody love this mascara. It is genuinely the best mascara I've ever used. Now, I say this because I have spent a lot of money on mascaras in the past. The last mascara I bought that was, I, I don't think you could call it designer, but like, re, like ex, high end makeup, should we say, was the Charlotte Tilbury one. And although I liked it, it was really good at separating the lashes. It didn't like volumize them as much as I wanted. So I used to use that and then use this over the top. I stopped doing that. I don't even know why I did that. This just literally, it lengthens them, volumizes them, but also like separates them. And like, I just love it. It just works so well. It's just what a mascara should do. It shouldn't go clumpy. That's not what a mascara should do. And that doesn't do this. This doesn't do that. That's it. And it's an intense black I wear as well. I just love it. It's just great. It makes my eyelashes so long and um, I wouldn't, I don't want to use anything else. It's just, I don't know why I would need to buy anything else. That's like a major staple now in my life. <laughs> so that's the end of my favorites video. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too bad. I do have to say, my mom always takes the mick out of me. You can tell I've like worked in retail and sales my whole life because, <laughs> or my whole working life, because like, I get really passionate about things. I don't mean to sell things to people, but I seem to just do that. Like, I'll be like, I really like this. And instead of just going, yeah, I really like this. Um, you should try it. I'm like, you need to buy this. This is why it's got all these factors. <laughs> and like, I don't know why I just try to sell you all those things. I'm not trying to. It's just, I get really passionate about things I like. <laughs> anyway, don't matter. Stop talking now. I want to have a cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too bad. I hope I didn't rush it too much and I actually made sense. But if you liked it anyway, um, let me know. I just don't have much confidence in making these videos because I always just feel like I'm just babbling uh, about some like things that people aren't interested in. <laughs> All right then, guys. I'll leave you. Take care. Bye.